Welcome to Chat and Dish. I'm Casey Quinetti. Aren't we lucky in this country to have so many incredibly delicious regional sandwiches? From Philly cheesesteaks to hoagies to po' boys in the South. This country's got it all. But over in France, they only have one what you would call national sandwich. Happens to be called a croque monsieur. Wasn't even invented until 1910 by a little Parisian bistro on Boulevard Capucine. But in the last hundred years, a croque monsieur has truly stolen the hearts of the French people and is available throughout the entire country in every cafe, boulangerie, and every market. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a very Americanized version of the French favorite croque monsieur. The ingredients are ever so simple. Sliced bread, sliced Swiss cheese, sliced ham, grated Swiss cheese, butter, Dijon mustard, garlic powder, a little bit of lemon juice, and about a half a cup of Greek yogurt. I prefer using non-fat, but that's up to you. So let's get started. A traditional croque monsieur requires a bechamel sauce as the topping, but hey, I'm not going to ask you to do that. To spend all that time standing at the stove stirring a homemade bechamel sauce, I happen to have a great substitute for you. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder goes into a half cup of Greek yogurt. A tablespoon of Dijon mustard a few drops of lemon juice. Just set the sauce aside, let all those flavors get to know each other and become intimate. It's going to taste great on our sandwiches. Two slices of bread per person. Traditionally, the crusts are cut off the sandwich. I don't want to do that though. I rather like having the crust on a croque monsieur. Okay, this is not difficult. We've got slices of Swiss cheese or Gruyere, if you've got it at your market. One goes on each sandwich, then it is a slice of ham. Sounds a little like a ham and cheese sandwich, doesn't it? Well, it is a little bit. Okay, ham goes on, then another slice of cheese goes on top. There we go, on each sandwich, and then the bread goes back on top. Lightly butter both sides of your sandwiches. Lightly toast your croque pochures over medium-high heat. Okay, when the sandwiches are lightly toasted on one side, turn them over and lightly toast the other side. We want three to four tablespoons of our bechamel sauce substitute to top each one of our sandwiches. Just lay it on and then spread it all around. Generously top with grated Swiss cheese. Now it's under the broiler until the cheese is melted and your sauce is hot and bubbly. Hot and bubbly are Americanized version of a French croque monsieur. Croque messieurs. Mm. You know, it is just a fancy grilled cheese sandwich, but if you try them, you're going to know exactly why. These stole the heart of the entire French nation. <laughs> Two real sweet shout outs today. First up, peanut butter and peppers for blueberry muffin bread. Hey, blueberries are not only delicious, they're really good for us. So get healthy over at peanut butter and peppers for blueberry muffin bread. How about we pop over to Smitten Foodie for chocolate shortbread cookies that are as good as they look in the photos. So get your chocolate shortbread cookies on over at Smitten Foodie. As always, thank you for visiting and sharing how to make a delicious croque monsieur with me. Until next time, I'm going to miss you. Cheers.